Hello guys, welcome to Storm of Words. My name is Cather and today we're going to talk about the books I'm grateful for. So this video is inspired by an idea from Ashley from Dash of Ash. I'm going to put the link of the video below so you can go and see it. Basically I'm going to be mentioning the books I'm grateful for and why. Of course this is a Thanksgiving related video but if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving or you celebrated it like ages ago it's totally fine. I just want to mention like uh, the books I'm grateful for and also I'm really sorry I couldn't upload any videos last uh, Thursday. I'm currently having a lot of trouble keeping up with all my exercises and stuff that I have to hand in before the semester ends and the final exams start. So I decided like to give myself a little bit of a break from reading uh, my stuff because I still have to read a lot of things but related to school. So as you may know in my few videos before I told you I was going to be joining the readathon. I couldn't do it. I'm really sorry about it. I just need some time. <laughs> but that's another story. So let's begin with these books. So the first and most important book in this list I think would be The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. First of all is my favorite book above any other book that I've ever read. I think that's because um, well I read it when I needed it the most actually. I remember uh, in that like time I felt really alone like like an outcast sort of thing and I'm totally fine I don't want you to worry about it but in that moment I felt really really bad with myself and well I was wandering around the library and I saw it and I was like what is this? I and I saw it was by Neil Gaiman. I took it because I love Neil Gaiman's books. I started reading it and <laughs> it was just like the best book I could have ever uh, like chosen for that exact moment. The second book I'm very grateful for is The Graveyard Book, also by Neil Gaiman. This also has to do a little bit with feeling like an outcast, because it tells the story of a kid who even when he is surrounded by people who like him, who protect him and support him, he feels like he doesn't belong. And that is totally acceptable because these people are ghosts and they take care of him, but it's not the same. And of course sometimes he feels like a little bit rejected and a little bit weird about it, but that made me realize realize that sometimes you're going to have to face things alone and um, that's good because you learn to know your strengths and your weaknesses and you learn to work on them and that's exactly why I'm grateful for it. <laughs> the next book I am grateful for is A Monster Calls. So uh, this book I'm really grateful for it because it also came to me when I needed it the most. A long time ago my relationship with my mom was not the best. <laughs> well we actually always fight, we always like keep complaining about about a certain stuff we don't like about each other. And that's something that I think happens in most families because, well, we have different opinions and different points of view, so it's totally acceptable. But at that moment, I was feeling really upset with my mom. And when I read this book, it made me realize that sometimes, even when you are upset with people, you don't have to, like, keep everything inside of you. You have to let things go and uh, talk about it. And to be honest, I really love my mom. And being always fighting with her is not the best thing so uh, well it really helped me so I'm really thankful for it besides I loved the story and I loved how it develops and yeah it's one of my favorite books too the next book I'm grateful for is what if it's us by Adam Silver and Becky Albertalli I'm so sorry so I just finished reading this book like about two weeks ago I loved it it was amazing I have a review I'm going to post the link down below so you can go check it and I really liked it because it showed me a lot of perspective from different points of view and from different people about how things are not always easy and that sometimes you really have to work hard in order to make something happen and make something become a really great story so I'm really grateful for it the next book I'm grateful for is a book that I read also here in school I never thought it was going to become one of my favorite books but it did and um, I'm really grateful for that. This book is Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit by Jeanette Winterson. Now this book, um, well, it has been surrounded by a lot of controversy because uh, some people call it a memoir but it's not actually a memoir but at some point uh, this book also talks about her life because it follows the story of a girl called Jeanette Winterson and her life as the daughter of a woman who's obsessed with religion. Now this book is a little bit of a critique about society but when I started reading it I didn't want to see it as like a critique. I just wanted to see it in a more personal way about how she develops as a person as she grows up. And I'm really grateful for this book because it showed me a lot of new perspectives that I never considered. It also made me more confident about telling the things that I thought and understand 
understand that there's always going to be people who are going to try to mess your life up, but you don't have to let them if you don't want to. Now, the next book I'm grateful for, or basically the series of books I'm grateful for, are the Shadowhunter series by Cassandra Clare herself, the Queen. What can I say about this series? Uh, it has showed me a lot of new things, a lot of new perspectives, and I'm really grateful for it because well, I, I almost feel like I... I know those characters and I love them and they're amazing, blah 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 blah. <laughs> and I'm really grateful for these books because, well, I've learned too much from them. <laughs> and also it showed me that your friends can be your family, so that's amazing. <laughs> The next series I'm going to tell you is, of course, uh, one of the most famous series in this world. And, well, it's just amazing. I loved it. I grew up with it. I learned too much from it. And it's the Harry Potter series, of course. Now, I can give you a list of things that I'm grateful for this series, too. But um, I think I'm going to stick with the part of sometimes you're going to feel alone. Sometimes you're going to feel like an outcast. But there's always going to be someone by your side. And also what I've learned is to take care of your friends because they're probably the most awesome thing that can happen to you. And yeah, I think that's the list of books that I'm grateful for. But that doesn't mean I'm not grateful for the other books. Uh, I've learned tons of books. Uh, I'm really grateful for having the opportunity to read that much. And I also want to say that it doesn't matter if a book is good or bad, you're always going to learn something from it. And yes, well, I think that's everything I'm grateful for. I'm also grateful for my family, for my friends, for my mom. But, well, this is more foc focused on, on my books. So I'm gonna end it up here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you liked did. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every Monday and Thursday. Thursday, I was about to say Tuesday, sorry. And I'm really glad to have you here. If you also have some books you're grateful for, please put them in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching. See you guys. Bye.